Hello, wine drinking people. Today is December 28th. It's been several weeks or months since our last show here. We've been really busy packing up these little boxes. I think all the kids got their wine. The big kids got their wine in time for the holidays this year. Good job and a good time was had by all here at the Wine Watch. Some late nights, but now we're back to our normal schedule of dining and drinking. Uh, off to a f uh, fast start here with the new year. We've already sold out our first events. The best of tasting on the 13th of January sold out already. We've got 90 people signed up for that. But, hey, we still got a little partying left to do in 2011. It's time for champagne. And, you know, I always say every day above ground is reason for celebration. So I've always got a bottle of bubbly in my fridge at home. You know, champagne is very close to Paris. That's why their wines became famous at first. And they didn't have any sparkling in them all. They were a little sweet and uh, somewhat um, oxidated uh, because, you know, just wasn't great wine production at that time. Methods of production and, you know, over the course of the few hundred years, one of the people, Dom Perignon, which we've got an incredible amount of Dom Perignon on this offer, going back to 1970, some great old vintages, a magnum of 85. And in addition to our featured champagne, Champagne Henriot, which we're starting out the offering with, we've got every bottle of bubbly we have in the store. You know, our lead champagne on this offer, Champagne Henriot, we have one of the greatest prices on this product in the marketplace. It's a smaller champagne house. Now, like Moet Chandon and Veuve Clicquot, which you can find at 7-Eleven today, which, hey, that's not a bad thing. I think it's good that you can find champagne at 7-Eleven. And as I've always said, there's no such thing as bad champagne. It just depends whether you like the house style. And uh, Henriot, a more elegant style, lovely creaminess to the champagne, the Brut Souverain. Lovely toasty smoky notes here to the bouquet, a little hazelnut, a little light ginger spice, 60% uh, Chardonnay, 40% Pinot Noir, and uh, usually 20% reserve wines going back four to five years thrown into this. So lovely richness on the bouquet and that little bit of that fresh dough and nutty quality coming through on the finish with lovely pear and apple fruit, citrus carrying a little bit of that smokiness. Also excellent juice, the Blanc Souverain, a champagne that you should decanter for an hour did i say decanter champagne yes another thing you should not do with champagne is just open it up and drink it ice cold the great champagnes need a little time to breathe just like great wines they may lose a little bit of that effervescence but still what you gain in terms of complexity and nuance is really worth it this blanc chardonnay i love with sushi i think uh paired really nice with uh, raw fish and a little bit of spice also but uh, some lovely hazelnut and toasty brioche notes to this little apple pastry lemon meringue also in there but a brilliant champagne the rosé one of my favorite lovely strawberry fruit in that and a little plum also with a little red licorice and uh, some rose petal floral notes really nice uh, mousse cream lovely creamy mousse on the palate really rich and a lovely freshness 70 percent pinot noir and 30 percent chardonnay they add a little red wine into the uh, the white to make the rosé that's the way most people commonly do it in champagne today the easiest way to produce a consistent product and then of course the enchanteleurs the top wine from Henriot 1998 a great vintage for Chardonnay. This is a blend of 50% Chardonnay and 50% Pinot Noir. And the story of the Enchantelaires, the workers that inspired this cuvee from Henriot. Uh, really fantastic. And uh, if you're looking for Tete de Cuvee Champagne, we have got a ton of it in the store. Krug, Lewis Rotor, Cristal in various sizes. So check it out on this offer today. Everything we've got that is Champagne and Method Champenoise in the store. I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.